right, I'm in the middle of doing some comparison testing between the Enagic on the left and the Jupiter Athena on the right. And I just got a water sample from St. Louis to put in the middle. I'm um, going to go ahead and get two samples. And then I'm going to test them for pH, ORP, and also fluoride. So let's just see how they do. Okay, that's a magic. That is Athena. All right. So I'll just go ahead and test the pH of both of these. Right. Start out with my tap water. Is about nine point seven, and the Athena's about ten point five. And the Enagic 11.0. Oh, hold on one second. 10.9 and the Enagic 11.0. Oh. Um, all right, so that's that's fairly close. Now, what I'm going to do is see what the ORP is of both of them. I'm not going to particularly check the ORP for the tap water because that's going to be low. Looks like the Enagic is up in the five, negative 500s. And then the Athena is also up in the negative 500s. And actually negative 600s. Actually, the Athena looks like it might even go up to negative 700. So I'm just going to let it settle. And I'll also let it settle for the Enagic a little bit more. Looks like it is going to go up to somewhere in the negative 700s. All right, let's see if the Enagic also will go up that high. Now, the reason why I'm testing pH and ORP, just mainly I want to see if they're both this about the same, which they are close. This is not quite up to negative 700, but it's it's very close, so we can just say they're very similar. Okay, I'm not going to sit here any longer. That's good enough. It's close to negative 700. All right, so now I'm going to test the fluoride. And I really don't know what the results are going to be because uh, honestly, um, you know, sometimes people say all the fluoride is removed when you ionize and I don't know that that's the case or not and I really would like to find out so I know if I can rely on it or not rely on it. So I'm going to start with just tap water and test the fluoride of tap water in St. Louis. Oh. I have to put my reagent in first, sorry. So if both of these water ionizers test approximately the same uh, for pH and ORP, why is it I like the Jupiter Athena so much? Well, there are three main reasons. One, I like the fact of continuous cleaning. That is extremely important to me and it is a feature that I would not want to be without. The, the Kangen water does not have continuous cleaning. It has acidic wash every so often, but continuous cleaning is just, just safer, um, better for the ionizer. It's going to make the la ionizer last longer. By the way, the Jupiter has the lifetime warranty versus five years on the Kangen. And um, so, you know, and then uh, you don't have to do citric acid or vinegar washes all the time either. So it's really nice. And, uh, and you can rely on the pH and ORP being consistently the same no matter what, which I really like. Okay, so let's look at St. Louis tap water. 
it says add C1. This is the control, and I'm going to press add C2. That's my tap water, and I'm going to press. Okay, so it's saying that my tap water has 0.73 whatevers, parts per million probably, of fluoride. All right, so let's take uh, a second. Again, water, 9.5. One second, try to rinse this out. Um, I have only I have one of these, so I unfortunately I, I can't just do them all at the same time. All right, so part of the rinse out process, I'm just sticking some distilled water in there, just to really thoroughly get rid of whatever the tap water was. All right, so now I'm going to put a measured amount of this. In a reagent in there. Okay, and then so why don't I do the Enagic? Now I'm going to fill this with, to the white line. Shake, wipe it off with a, a lint free cloth, and then um, set it down. Okay, so now we'll repeat that fluoride test, only this time. Alright, here's our control. What's happening is this fluoride checker is shining a light in there just to see if. Um, so compare the uh, sample with the control that has no fluoride in it. So this did definitely reduce the fluoride. Um, I would expect more reduction though. So, but and that's that's pretty good. You cut it almost in half. But let's see what the Jupiter does. One second. No. Just rinse this out. Okay. Put my measured amount of reagent in. And now get my sample from the Athena. Now this is, you know, there's there's more accurate measurements for fluoride. Uh, this is a fairly inexpensive kit I bought. I mean, it was it was expensive, probably three hundred dollars, but it wasn't as expensive as I could have spent. So, I <laughs> I did spare my expenses on this, and you know, maybe I ought to spend more money and get the better fluoride checker, but um, this is the best I have right now. All right, so now we're ready to redo this test. So push this. It says add C1. That's our control. Press. It says add C2. That's our sample. Okay, so actually it was similar. <laughs> I guess it takes out about half of the fluoride. That's a little disappointing because I thought that ionization would take out all the fluoride, but I guess it's better than nothing. Um, the food for thought here would be if you want to remove all the fluoride from your water, you should get a water uh, fluoride filter along with your ionizer and that would be the best way to go. 
Okay, very good. Um, I'm doing lots of different testing, so look on my um, blog or or my YouTube uh, page to see m more tests.